Hello and welcome to another X-Plane 10 video. Uh, today we are in the Flight Factor 757-200 uh, flying Delta 2098 service from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson to Austin Bergstrom. Um, stormy weather in Atlanta right now but in Austin everything looks alright pretty much so we'll go ahead and hop in the cockpit and give this a try. I'm not sure that I have had enough practice in the 757 yet to, to do this very well, but we'll see how we do. So we are flying from Atlanta to Austin. We are, let's see, I can't really see the screen. So, anyways. Atlanta to Austin. Departure out of Atlanta will be off of 27 right via the Jackets 9 departure with the jammer transition. And then we will go direct to MEI. Then we will be direct to LCH. Hmm. I don't know about that. Let's see. I'm going to go with that. Hopefully that's correct. And then to Lucan. And that puts us into the star for Austin. This flight should take us about two hours, I think. Hour and a half, two hours, something like that. I didn't really do takeoff calculations or good paperwork, so we're just gonna we're just gonna guess at some numbers here, put those in. And we will cruise at thirty-two thousand feet. And for takeoff, we'll take flap five. Uh, I don't remember what the temperature is, so we'll just put in assume 10 degrees. And there are some V speeds. That all looks pretty good. All right, so we are aligned. We are good to go. We'll climb direct to cruise. If I can scroll on the MCP instead of zoom the view around. Take flight directors. Those should be in manual mode. Let's see, what can we do up here? Yaw damper can come on, hydraulics can come on, electric engine controllers can come on, window heats can come on, emergency lights can be armed, guard closed. Engine limiters can be on, and the ram air turbine can be locked. Fuel pumps can come on. Turn on crossfeed, try and rectify that minor imbalance there. And with that, we can go for a pushback. Weather sounds nasty. Take the beacon light. Seven 
Loose packs for now. And we will start number two. We'll have this silly guy do his safety briefing, Ladies otherwise he will fuss at me. We request your full attention as the flight Good attendants grief, demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seat belt we'll just turn that way down for now for you guys. It's not doing me any good. Put fuel in on two. your nearest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. We can start can be number one. By moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide, which may also be detached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and the air pressure are always being monitored. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist the other person. Keep your mask on until a uniform crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing on. position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. Take the when packs. instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch. And I'm going to turn this volume the all the way back Slip up over so your that I'm Pass to the about straps later. around your waist and adjust at the front to inflate the vest firmly on the red cord, only when leaving the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, blow into the mouthpieces. Use the whistle and light to attract attention. Also, your seat bottom cushion can be used as a flotation device. Pull the cushion from the seat, slip your arms into the straps, and hug the cushion to your chest. The following electronic the devices, brakes. calculators, CD Take players, laptop arm. computers, may be used when the seat belt sign is off, or when permitted wow, by the crew. Mobile longer, telephones, remote controlled toys, or any electronic devices operating with an antenna, must be turned off at all times. We remind you, that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. We will find this and all the other safety information in the card located in the seat pocket in front of you. We strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you all an enjoyable flight. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad he's done. He's obnoxious. But if you don't do those things, he just fusses at you endlessly. And then you have to... If you click the button a whole bunch of times, it will actually murder him. Which is kind of nice, I guess. But... You know, I would rather we just be... Doing things the way the simulation wants us to do it. We'll just have to freeze for a minute while the weather reloads and we lose our silly weather readout. Alright, QH, which I forgot to set, is 30.15 here. Alright, now adjust takeoff trim. Work. 
give it just a little bit more. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. What I have noticed is that in my Flight Factor 777, no matter what the load on the airplane is, it always gives you the same takeoff trim. So I just put it at some level at which I won't get screeching alarms and then leave it. Not how it should be done, but it's how I do it.
Alright, so we are rather rapidly approaching top of descent, so we'll go ahead and get an arrival programmed. We will be arriving via the Willy 3 arrival. That transition, and we will land on 35 left. So that is our arrival programmed. That should be us sorted out. Alright. Now let me get rid of the, uh, the vectors, but... Alright, down to Austin we will go. Let's 
set for landing. everything inside now, so we'll take the pilot out, and the one off. Loads of warnings everywhere. I did not, however, do my due diligence and look up which gate they park at, so we'll just drive over here and pick a gate. Pick a gate, any gate. Get cleaned up after landing here in just a second. Alright, those can come off. Strobe can come off. Flaps can come in. And 
and speed brakes can come in. All right, there we go, on the ground in Austin. Very nice. Ugh, that muted mic, it gets me every time. Sorry about that. Anyways, welcome to Austin. This has been Delta 2098. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you 
have not already, please subscribe and feel free to leave me any comments as to stuff you'd like to see me try. Uh, and I will see what I can do. And we'll see you guys in the next one.